good thing we paused that. They are paused, man. Somebody come up with a good idea. But inside of there, scared defense talk. This became the Chinese Bluestone Association. As soon as I knew that brother was out there and he was working my money, getting getting my money, I wanted it. I had to undermine the Bluestone Mill in China because they have the bluest blue you can get, so I have to beat them on the manufacturing line. You think I'm going to take on Italian stone that we're shipping in across these in containers that I'm going to be burning up with my premium finish on the torch line, three-foot Stanford Law Bar? Inside of there, that becomes the gold standard of every safety mission, every management standard that ever could have been, every Stanford math problem that will ever be. I don't care if it's on a train on Alpha Centauri 9. And side of things, you know, decades ago, it was a situation where government basically fueled the R&D and that in turn created innovations Yemen. that then went out to the pri private sector and... and uh... The answer would be in Yemen, China. Oh, Shangri-La. <laughs> Putin, you got anything to add to the Winter Games? You guys drop nukes on every year for the cost of missions. Kill them, don't fucking kill them. Um, helped Americans and, and, and spurred, I guess, more innovations among consumers. And now that's kind of shifted to the private sector being the driver of, of R&D. So I'm curious. Well, it starts with her opinion. I go back to Diamond. Come on, honey, give me the physics. Come on, brother, I'll bang them together. <laughs> Coconuts, right? You know, it starts right here. I started to play double diamond slopes, and then I went on my way. And then you might have to give up some of this other stuff. I'm curious what this infrastructure bill, if it that's makes its what way it through, however it makes its and way you through. write those things down um, instead of assuming that like, they can't be done. Changes yeah, you that write numbers all again. day, little shiny things that pop up. Yeah, you know, Morgan, it helps to be what you are, which is a student of history here at... People should go back and read Dan Jurgen's book um, Dragon. about this issue. Um, you think I like it? Yeah, I'm looking at it. He's looking at me with floor so hydromonium dripping like if I don't say these. And, and that goes on for a while. And then when we have these other needs, we put the government in charge. Government spending as a percent of GDP has fallen consistently for about four decades now. And I think there's pretty good agreement among all economists. Well, we said that number GDP for was a reason. And when that thing travels, it should follow a subset of rules that that standard model allows for. And if this was in that range of what it is supposed to do based on its design, what it was made for, y, f over x, derivative over derivative t, rest of any other damn equation that references the smallest number, i, h, into the actual differential of what the theoretical and experimental in common is going to be the theoretical experimental of small modeling i don't know something like a hydron collider or a 14 year old with the world record for fusion is usually where i like to pump that out at plasma states and different you know compositions ybco that's that there's a need to to you know shift things back the other way that there are desperate infrastructure needs in this country the debate is going to be about what we call infrastructure does, do the green initiatives, do both sides agree yeah. that there's some need to reduce carbon, spend money on that? There's no measure GDP increase from reducing carbon unless, of course, you say, well, maybe we'd avoid some worse outcomes to civilization. 